I'm Lisa Sabir. Um, I'm from the University of Cambridge in England and I spent the summer at the Vienna Bio Centre with 26 other students from all over the world. From America, Australia, Canada, Japan, Poland, Croatia. We each choose a lab to work in in one of the four big institutes that is part of the Vienna Bio Centre. So then we each have our own research project to work on. For example, one of my friends I met on the summer school, Brian Liu, is trying to work out how a hematopoietic stem cell is able to mature into a fully functional B cell. So the gene that he's focused on is called EBF1, and that changes DNA accessibility, inducing histone modifications, which in turn can lead to a change in gene expression. As for myself, I'm working in Manuel Zimmer's lab, which is neurobiology, and I'm working on a model organism called C. elegans. I'm looking at their behavioural response in a change to oxygen concentrations, and I'm seeing if I can change this behaviour by changing whether they're starved or fed. So I do this by using a computer analysis software which measures the worm's behaviour, such as speed, the number of turns they do, and you can actually get an idea of the neural circuits involved in this mechanism. So of course we didn't work all the time, we had a lot of fun. Even on the first day we designed our own t-shirts with the BBC written on it and we got to know each other very, very quickly. And we also got the chance to take part in the annual Institute of Molecular Pathology Summer Games, which was really fun. It had things like the dragon boat racing, softball, kickball, and everyone took part, and it was just a really fun day. Vienna as a city is a very stunning city. It has a lot of architecture that is very old, and which I have many, many pictures of. It has art galleries, museums, it has bars, multiple bars, it even has a river which is very useful on a hot day we can just jump in because the water is really clear and it's really nice. And we even learnt some words in German such as Apfelstrudel, Vollmilch, Auf Wiedersehen. But of course at the campus everybody speaks English so it's really easy for us to chat to colleagues in our lab Much PCR product, even and it's really easy to understand the weekly seminars that are given by the senior scientists so you understand what they're doing in their field. At the end of the summer school, each summer student gets the chance to present their own work at the summer school symposium. So this basically shows what you've been doing for the whole two months. For me, I presented about an hour ago to far too many people and was equally nervous with all the other summer students, but I showed some okay data and that's no wonder because the BBC has some great facilities such as the media kitchen, which I found amazing, that you can just go downstairs and get a bottle of PBS and don't have to make it yourself. So you can use the things like photo cytometry, deep sequencing, the laser, electron scanning microscope, you just have to book it and you can use it freely. I really enjoyed my time in Vienna, um, my lab especially, and then also the interaction with the other summer school students because I got to meet a lot of different nationalities. If you would like to join, visit the website at bbcsummerschool.at.